A couple weeks ago, I made a video about exposure bracketing. You can check out that video right here or in the description below. Today, in this video, I'm going to check out a new HDR software, and that is the Aurora HDR 2019. Aurora HDR 2019 is currently available for pre-order. You can use the link in the description below to make a pre-order. And also currently there is a special deal until October 4th. But if you are watching this video after October 4th, you can still use a coupon code MING to save $10. Alright guys, now let's get into the software and take a look at the new Aurora HDR 2019. Okay, this is the new Aurora HDR 2019 and this is the first interface. Click on open image and you can select the photo that you want to merge. So I want to merge these three exposures. Click on open and you have a couple options here. You can select auto alignment here and you can click on this icon and it provides some uh, other options like ghost reduction uh, and a chromatic abrasion. I'm going to check this option and okay and let's click on create HDR. Alright this is the merged HDR photo and the first impression is it is too bright and you have the tools on the right hand side and you have some filters at the bottom. Uh, before we get into those filters I want to adjust the exposure I want to bring it down a little bit because I think that looks too bright. I'm going to turn the highlight down a little bit like that. And overall I think the contrast looks pretty good right off the bat. And I just noticed that there is a spot right here which is very annoying but I, I, I haven't found the tool to remove these spots. So if you know the spot removal tool, please let me know in the comments below. All right, now let's just go through the tools on the right hand side. Uh, first, of, first of all, I, I think I'm going to make it a little bit warmer. I think it's just a tiny bit too blue for my taste. I'm going to increase shadow a little bit and then set the black point. And maybe like that. Then I'm going to increase the vibrance or the saturation a little bit. I think that's too much. Maybe go backwards a little bit. Now let's see this HDR enhance. I heard that this HDR smart structure works very well. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to zoom into 100% scale and look at the mountains. Oops. Alright, then I'm going to increase the smart structure. This is before, this is after. I think it makes the details pop out a little bit more. I think it works similar to the structure tool in Capture One. This is before, this is after. It makes the small details appear a little bit sharper. All right. Let's go to image radiance. What is that? Ooh, this looks like Orton effect. If I go all the way up, right, let me try to create some uh, natural Orton effect using this. Reduce the brightness a little bit. Does this boost the shadow? Yeah, it looks like it boosts the shadow a little bit. How about that? Yeah, I see this image radiance tool has the potential to create some, uh, some cool Orton effect without going into Photoshop. Now let's see this polarizing filter. So polarizing filter basically makes blue darker and the set more saturated, but I don't want this polarizing filter effect on this photo. HDR details boost and you have three options, small, medium, large, and then glow. 
Let's try that. Hmm, I think the uh, image radiance tool works better. And then the adjustable gradient, and it has top and a button. Let's see. Now I now I have top selected. So I am only updating the top half of the photo. So I can I can make exposure. I can reduce the exposure a little bit. Since the sky is usually darker than the foreground, so for the top half, I'm going to reduce the exposure. Add a little bit of saturation just to the sky. Maybe like that. And for the bottom half, maybe I can increase the exposure by a little bit. Maybe like that. And I think the bottom half is overall too blue. So I'm going to warm it up a little bit. Maybe like that. All right, I just noticed another spot right here. And still, I can't find the spot removal tool. And right here, you have the tone curve tool and you have RGB channel, red, green, and blue. So you can increase contrast like that. Uh, but that's too much. You can reset by click on this button and you, you just reset your changes. HSL looks similar to the HSL tool in Lightroom. And the color toning looks like it is similar to split toning in Lightroom. And here there is a dodge and burn tool and it says start painting. All right, I'm going to paint. So it looks like it makes this area brighter and I can control the amount. This is before, this is after. Overall makes the mountain right here a little bit brighter. But I'm not sure how you can do burning. Anyway, I'm gonna move on. And to the last one is vignette. So actually I went back to the previous tools and made a couple changes to make this photo overall a little bit brighter and a little bit more natural to my eyes. But anyway, let's take a look at the very last tool, which is Vignette. And it also works very similar to the Vignette tool in Lightroom. So you can slide towards the left-hand side to add Vignette into the photo. So you can see this is before and this is after. It looks like very subtle. I'm gonna increase the amount. This is before, this is after. Now, just like Luminar, the Aurora HDR 2019 also has layers feature supported. So just click on this create layer button and then create a new adjustment layer. And you can double click on this layer to rename it. And you can click on this brush tool and select a mask. I'm going to select a gradient mask and I'm going to draw a gradient mask for the sky. Like that. And now I'm going to use the exposure slider to reduce the exposure of the sky a little bit and then increase the saturation a little bit. So you can see the before and after by clicking on this eye icon this is before and this is after. Also, I think you have noticed this at the bottom, you have this, uh, you have this window, this small window. This is called looks and basically it's like presets. If you don't see this window, you can come over here and you can click on this looks panel to show up this uh, little panel at the bottom. And it works like presets. You can choose whatever selection, for example, landscape or architecture, and then you can click on uh, a style, and it's like a preset in Lightroom. But just going through all these styles in the collections, I found that they are not very natural to my eyes. I probably would never use these presets. But if you like it, you can click on a style and it's going to apply this preset 
and if it's too strong you can lower the opacity right here but personally I don't think I'm going to use these presets because they don't look very natural to me again if you are interested in the Aurora HDR 2019 you can pre-order using the link in the description below and currently there is a special deal until October 4th if you are watching this video after October 4th, then you can save $10 by using the coupon code MING. Alright guys, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. And if you are the first time on my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more photography tips and tricks and tutorials. Alright guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day and I hope to see you next time. Bye.